Hello and welcome back to Leveling Up, the show where I level up my gaming. My name's Will and today we're going to start a series covering Portal from 2007. Yes, 2007. Um, now, full disclosure, I had recorded this entire series and then uh, an error meant that all the footage was deleted. So I'm going to start again because I just love you guys that much. So let's get stuck straight into it. I mean, I love that this game doesn't really give you much. It just throws you straight in. Um, it's incredibly designed. It's just very sort of, I suppose, uh, very, I suppose, what uh, we consider futuristic. So I'm in this sort of unknown futuristic place. Hello, and again, welcome to the app. Let me just uh, make sure that the captions are on. Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, Please refrain from Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Alright, and again, not told much. Um, just that we should not do unknown thing, unspecified thing. Um Yeah, I mean look. Full disclosure, this game itself. Uh, wasn't one of the ones that was important to me growing up. However, the sequel was, and I got into the sequel not really having seen or played this game before. Um, and so I then came and revisited. Uh, Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I um, actually came and played this one much later, um, and so... Please I didn't... place the Weighted Storage Cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Um, so I didn't actually get a lot of the references um, in in the uh, in the, the second game because I hadn't played this one. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Um, but still, the world building, the um, the design, the puzzly nature of it, the physics of it, it's all incredible as you'll as you'll see. taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. <laughs> You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. 
Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. I really love, even though we don't know this character's name yet, I really love GLaDOS, and I think that's the, the part of the the magic of this game is the, the, the sass and the banter. It's just beautiful. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. I just think this game is so incredibly uh, well designed and unique. And um... as part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. Now, I don't know much about game design, but I imagine that the physics of this game, the whole um, conservation of momentum and stuff like that, which you'll see demonstrated in a little bit, I imagine all that must be pretty difficult to get right. Um, so anyone out there who does know things about... Um, uh, While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the average is unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject hometown here. Uh, anyone out there who knows anything about game design, if you could just let me know, is this a difficult thing to um, to program? Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber lock. People out there might have more understanding of this than I do, but it's my understanding that this game is related to or shares a universe with Half-Life and Half-Life 2, um, which, as I mentioned in my first video, um, were quite... Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Whoops. Um, yeah, so it's my understanding that this, uh, yeah, this game is related to Half-Life and Half-Life 2, which are quite, uh, really highly regarded games, um, 
and I really look forward to exploring Half-Life and Half-Life 2 at another time uh, just to see how they're related. Because as I've mentioned a couple of times and I'll probably keep gushing about, I love this game. And I think I love Portal 2 even more, so I'm going to be looking forward to playing that one for you guys as well. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. There we go. So again, yeah, this is the sort of stuff that I think is really, really great about this game. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. <laughs> yeah, I've just seen that there's a kind of a, I suppose, spiritual successor or a spiritual remake of this game coming out next year called Portal Reloaded which includes a time travel function, which I think is going to be really fascinating. Um, I'll put a link to uh, some of the gameplay the demonstrations. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Um, yeah, so I'll put in a, uh, a, a link to that gameplay demonstration below and um, have a look at it. It looks really interesting and really fascinating. Come on. We are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in such a fun time. Yeah. 
Now, it's my understanding that Valve have been fairly reluctant to release any further games in these universes, which I think is really dis disappointing, given how wonderful these games are. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline. That might seem strange given games that I sometimes like playing, but I think what I love most about this game is that it's not violent at all. It's just a really fun, clever, first-person puzzler. I think that that's really, really something. Look, I could die and stuff, but it's not you know, a shooter in the sense that I'm going around killing masses and masses of aliens or anything, you know? So, As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. Subjects intending to handle high energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, as you are an excellent test subject. Complimentary victory lift has been activated in the main chamber.
the Enrichment Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and re-counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Ooh, cake. Surely they, they wouldn't lie to us about cake, would they? little design touches of like the offices that overlook the testing facilities. It's got a very sort of almost like a 50s vibe to it I suppose. and I like it. I like that it's tricky. Oh, come on. Alright. I think I'm rushing and I think that's the problem. There we go. Cool. Okay. Um. Oh, whoops. On. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, far out. Okay. Come on. Slowly, slowly.
Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you once again for joining me on Leveling Up. Um, this game is fairly short, so I'm going to keep these episodes short and sharp. Now, uh, I'm going to put the link below for Portal Reloaded, the gameplay demonstration, so check that out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also remember to like this video, and if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel um, and chuck on those notifications so you can see what I am up to and when I'm releasing videos. Uh, just a reminder, the videos are now being released every Monday, Wednesday and Friday with our ongoing Halo series, our Portal series now, and a new, um, a new series starting up this coming Wednesday. Thanks very much for your time, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time on Leveling Up.